Hello everybody, Sully here, Shamrock Forge. Uh, I'm not doing any forging today, uh, at least not yet, but uh, thought I'd uh, take you along on a little bit of an experimental journey I'm having. Uh, if you notice right here, I've got this tote that's uh, kind of partially full of some green liquid, and I got a can of bleach hanging out on top of it. A little syringe with a tube going down into the bucket, or the tote. Uh, right beside it right here, I've got a piece of ceramic substrate out of a DPF filter. In any case, what I've got going on here is I'm leaching the uh, platinum group metals out of the ceramic substrate using hydrochloric acid and bleach. Um, this particular tote has, uh, I want to say, uh, four gallons. I think it's got four gallons of uh, hydrochloric acid in it, uh, muriatic acid. And so far, uh, about a half a gallon of bleach, but the bleach doesn't stay uh, bleach. The, it reacts and uh, releases chlorine gas and bubbles up through everything, and the chlorine gas helps to dissolve the platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Now, uh, what I'm going to do right now is uh, show you guys a little bit of progress. Uh, what I have is a bottle of stannous chloride, uh, which is a gold test solution. Uh, different colors when you drop it on the acid, the different colors uh, tell you what you got. And so, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, 300. I think it's 300. Well, anyways, I'm going to take this pipette and I'm going to reach into this one and I'm going to get just a drop of uh, a sample of the acid. And um, now be aware if you're doing this, this is not a how to, this is just look what I'm doing. But be aware if you're doing this, <clears throat> these uh, liquids will have platinum in suspension. And uh, 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 platinum hydrochloride or platinum in suspension, uh, 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 whatever the case, is pretty freaking dangerous. Uh, uh, you don't want to get it on your skin, that's for sure. It is, it is absorbable, uh, and if you get it on your skin, it'll absorb into you, and years down the road, it's going to cause problems. It's a condition called platinosis. So, by all means, don't get it on your skin. That's really, really important. Uh, use proper gloves. Um, these ones here tend to hold up better. These black, thick black ones hold up better to the acid than uh, like the little blue ones do. But, uh, you know, Use your best judgment. Always wear safety glasses, and I don't have a respirator that's uh, uh, um, appropriate because all I have are particle filters, and the hydrochloric acid and the chlorine goes right through them. So what I, all I can do really is just hold my breath while I open up, take a sample, walk away, etc. Uh, trying to trying to use a particle mask is just going to get you hurt. So stand by. take this right here give me a little drop right there well, that's more than a little drop but you see how it come out that yellow color and I drop on the Santa's chloride and it turns brown and that means uh, platinum in suspension hold right on here we'll do the other one Okay, so you've seen the color that we got right there off of the, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta get another glove. Okay, so that was the color on that one. That's been in there for probably about, oh, I want to say three weeks, that's been soaking. And every day I fill this syringe up twice with uh, bleach and pump it down into the bottom and the chlorine gas kind of bubbles up through through the ceramic substrate. That's not too bad. I mean, that's a that's a medium, I would say, uh, a result for uh, platinum. All right, now let's check this one here. Now this is just a couple little pieces that I cut, uh, that I chopped off of uh, this right here, so. That's what's in that little uh, uh, mason jar as a test bed. Uh, just like I said, to see what's in this, because I don't really know. Uh, I didn't even know these biscuits were in uh, the DPF filters. That section I've been throwing away, well, or you know, because they've never been facing up where I could see the ceramic. They were always facing down, and I just assumed that was uh, uh, a different part uh, until I pulled a hole one that hadn't been taken apart out of the trash and took the V-band clamp off, and boom, look, there's ceramic on both sides. In any case, uh, let's take a sample of this one. Should 
be all we need right there. Okay. Little drop. There you go. Wow. Wow. That is really, really high in platinum. And that's only been in there since, I don't know, four o'clock yesterday afternoon. So that is literally less than, that's probably 20 hours that that's been in there. And uh, it is already, it's probably actually, I mean, because it's such a small, uh, um, test. It's probably already completely stripped all the platinum off of that. Wow. That is fascinating. I was kind of hoping it would turn green. I was really hoping for palladium because uh, that's a little bit more expensive at the time being. But Man, I almost forgot. Uh, if you're curious to see where this is going, by all means, hit the subscribe button, like, share, what have you. If you hadn't seen this one before, this, uh, this video's title might bring in some people that haven't really been exposed to uh, my channel before. But I'm going to take, I misspoke when I was talking about this one. I'm actually going to try some different methods of dropping the platinum out of suspension using this because I already know that I already know the platinum's in there. And I have uh, quite a lot of sodium metabisulfite, which is used for dropping gold out of aqua regia. And I'm curious to see if that sodium metabisulfite will also drop uh, platinum group metals. And uh, there are also several other options. I mean, I've got a boatload of lots of free different types of metals and I'm going to try different ones to see what I can what I can use to displace the heavier metals out of uh, suspension so stick around this is going to be a journey and an experiment and I'm going to film all of it so when I when I go to when I go to try to drop this with sodium metabisulfite whether it works or not I'm going to film it post it I, you know maybe I'll try something else like aluminum or copper or zinc well I mean I know zinc will work because I've seen that on YouTube video but I don't have anything, so I want to try something else. So uh, maybe even nickel. I mean, zinc and nickel are pretty darn close on the periodic table. Maybe I can substitute zinc for nickel. I, you know, we'll see. So stick around. This is going to be a, a journey into uh, recovery of platinum group metals out of diesel particulate filters. So till next time, this is Sully at Shamrock Forge saying keep on refining on.